Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Grandia. Let's uh, talk to Sue here. <laughs> can you talk to Puffy? No. I don't think you can ever talk to Puffy now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't know why this happens when you like click on something and it zooms in. It's a very strange thing, but we need to go see Fina. Is she going to start singing like uh, we're in FF9 or something? No, no, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I do love Fina's sprite. I just don't know why the artwork doesn't match it properly. The hair color is just off on all the characters' sprites. I still think somebody else must have drawn the artwork before the sprites were done, or vice versa. Maybe the sprites were done. No, they probably did the artwork before the sprites. Or they didn't have access to the sprites for whatever reason. For reference. Now the wind doesn't see much of anything. I mean, it just kind of blows around. Yeah, you were kind of... Oh, I love how the wind blows her wind. It blows her wind? Blows her hair. But yeah, I mean... Seriously. Do what you want to do. You don't need to be tra uh, chained to that stupid adventure society. Who cares about them? We'll never see them again. No, no, really, we won't. We, the adventure society plays no role going forward. Bit odd, but whatever. Uh oh. These guys. I like how uh, Grandy One does give a lot of development to the antagonists, or a lot of screen time for the antagonists, even though they don't really develop all that much. Mullen does, but the rest of them not so much. It's a nice uh, cape he got going on there. I like badass capes. Yeah, so we gotta cross over the Wrangell Mountains first. There's a lot of filler areas in Grandia 1 where you just have to pass on through. Although the Wrangell Mountains are much longer than the filler areas to date. The Marna Road and the, uh... Oh, whatever the one that led to Phoenix House is. It's like three times as long, actually. but Still not that long, but still. Back to town. Uh, the Merrill Road. That's what it is. Got some shopping to do. So we're going to go ahead and pick up uh, quite a few things here. We're going to pick up fire magic for Sue. I know that sounds really bizarre, but we are. Well, you know, since I'm focusing so heavily on Sue, even though Fina's more of the resident magician of the party, I really want to focus on Sue's magic in the early part of the game. Particularly for the first disc, really. Although, eventually, Fina will start working on her magic as well. I'm not getting water right now, because even though water's the healing magic, you really don't need it right now. And there's an easy way to work on water that I want to save for later. But anyway, uh, the reason why I got fire, if I can find the damn thing, is because of... Oh, shoot. Uh, you see that? That uh, last ability there, Maces 8, Earth 2, Fire 3. I want to learn that as soon as possible. 
it is one of the best abilities in the game. Not so much for utility in battle, but for leveling up. It's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. We're gonna trade purchase a shell shield for Fina. She doesn't need those leather gloves, so I'm just gonna do that. Let's see. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a thorn whip and a hunter's knife for Fina as well. Nope, not the bow. Hunter knife. And we can actually just go right ahead and sell her old weapons there. Should be a para knife. There's the para knife. Par knife, whatever it is. And I have to actually unequip her. Her uh, one whip there. Here, just give her the thorn whip for now. And go ahead and sell this other whip. Don't have to sell it, but why not? Do I need to store stuff? I don't know. Hopefully not. No, we got enough space. We should be okay for now. I should actually go to the menu and... I think I wanted to go over this. Yep. Okay. Nope. That's not how... It, where, where do I find this? There it is. So you see when you level up magic there, in the lower left, you get not only the 2 MP, as I said, it's randomly distributed among level 1, level 2, level 3. The lower level gets priority. But you can get 2 MP for level 3 if you get lucky, but usually you don't. <laughs> but you can. It's just rarer. But uh, yeah, every time you level up fire, you get wit 1. Every time you level up wind, you get agility 1. And every time you level up earth, you get strength 1. Uh, water is HP plus 1, I believe. If I remember right, but... Uh, as for Fina, her leveling skills... She actually gets... For knives, she gets agility plus 2, HP plus 1. And wit plus 2, HP plus 1 for uh, whips. I believe she never actually gains agility naturally through regular levels. I think you have to level up her knife to get agility, which is really odd. Fina's the only character I think that works that way. Having said that, agility is probably the least useful stat in the game. So we're going to the Rango Mountains. Recommended equipment here. So let's see, uh, I'm going to take a minute to look at what I want to do and be right back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, Fina, I'm going to work on knives for her for now. Sue's going to work on her maces for now, and Justin's going to work on his uh, swords. I'd like to see Justin get his axe up to level 7 as well, and his maces are already level 8, which is actually good. Uh, I don't have to work on that now, thanks to Chang, so otherwise I would work on maces for him a little bit. That's why I have two separate maces, but I don't need to worry about that right now. But yeah, Sora's level 8, Axe level 7. Sue, I want to get uh, her throwing weapons up to level 8. I'd like to get her fire up to level 3 if I can. And her other magic is okay, as is. And for Fina, I'd like to gain 3 levels for her knives and 1 level for her fire, up to 5. So 6 knives, 5 fire. That's the way to go. Also, uh, Justin has the snake earrings. So... Let's uh, keep going here. Got a little dungeon scope here. Need my map. There it is. Got an item up here. Uh, these are inchworms. They have a sleep gas AoE around the inchworm that obviously inflicts sleep. So I'd kill it if you see it, but otherwise, if you see it coming, but otherwise they're pretty easy to deal with. So, mm, do I want to use Burn Flame? 
I don't think this is a good opportunity to use Burn Flame. Now for Sue, I do want to cast regular Burn. I really want to work on her Fire, and I want to work on her Maces as well. Now the thing with Fina's Knives, she only needs to get to level 12 Knives, I believe it's level 12, for her final Knife ability. But obviously I want to get more Knives than that. But her whip gives her predominantly her more useful abilities for her skills. Although, it's kind of debatable because her skills aren't really that good. Her physical skills. But it's something to consider. Not bad, eh? Or something to be aware of. We'll get this chest up here and... Then we'll call it. There is a mana egg here. I believe I'm gonna go back to town. Yes. Which will also enable me to refight enemies and do a little bit of micro grinding, but for now. We'll uh, see this is a good opportunity to use burn flame, so. Burn flame it is. Try to hit one in the middle so we can hit all of them. Burn Flame has a nice AoE effect to it. There we go. <laughs> pretty easy. Fina should get level 5 fire pretty easily here. In general, you need more weapon levels than magic levels. Uh, individually, anyway. To learn all of your abilities. Fina's kind of an exception, though, because she takes... She needs, like... 30 fire or something like that. I forget exactly. 27 fire, maybe? She needs more fire magic than she does whip, which she nearly needs 24 whips. But, like, Justin needs level 30 plus. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, no, it's level 10 knives. Okay. Yeah, unless she gets something else. You can't see uh, those abilities that require elements, magic elements what you need to learn them until you actually have access to the spell. So we couldn't see that last uh, mace ability there for Sue until we picked up both fire and earth magic. It's really critical that she gets fire magic leveled up. All right, let's just get this chest and that should be good. It's uh, some money, 180 G. All right, we'll continue from here on the next episode. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.